In this video, we will discover the distributive property of multiplication by decomposing the area of a rectangle. Looking at the provided diagram, notice how the large rectangle is nine meters by five meters, and this rectangle has been cut into two smaller rectangles, where the rectangle on the bottom is nine meters by two meters, the rectangle on top is nine meters by three meters. We can also tell the area of the large rectangle is equal to the sum of the areas of the two smaller rectangles. So if we let A equal the area of the large rectangle and A sub one and A sub two equal the areas of the two smaller rectangles, we know that A must equal A sub one plus A sub two. Again, the area of the large rectangle is equal to the sum of the areas of the two smaller rectangles. And now let's find these three areas using the area formula for a rectangle, which is length times width. Remember, the area of a rectangle indicates how many square units will fit inside the given rectangle. So A, the area of the large rectangle, is equal to nine meters times five meters. Well, nine times five is equal to 45. The area of the large rectangle is 45 square meters. And now let's find A sub one, which is the area of the rectangle on the bottom. This rectangle is nine meters by two meters, which means the area is nine meters times two meters. Nine times two is equal to 18. The area is 18 square meters. And now we will find A sub two, which is the area of the rectangle on the top, which is nine meters by three meters. And therefore the area is nine meters times three meters, which gives us 27 square meters. And now let's substitute these values into our equation. The area of the large rectangle A is 45 square meters. So we have 45 equals A sub one is the area of the rectangle on the bottom, which is 18 square meters. We have 18 plus A sub two is the area of the rectangle on the top, which is 27 square meters. So we have plus 27. And notice 18 plus 27 is 45, verifying our equation is true. But now let's write the products that we used to determine these areas. For the area of 45 square meters, we used nine times five. For the area of 18 square meters, we used nine times two. For the area of 27 square meters, we used nine times three. So now we know nine times five equals nine times two plus nine times three. Now let's go back and look at the diagram. Notice five meters is equal to two meters plus three meters, which means if we wanted to, we could replace this five with two plus three. And let's go ahead and do that. We have nine times, then in parentheses, two plus three equals nine times two plus nine times three. This last equation demonstrates what's called the distributive property of multiplication. If we look at this closely, notice how to go from the expression on the left to the expression on the right, we multiply the nine by the two and the nine by the three and the addition remains. This property, once again, is called the distributive property. The distributive property is often referred to as multiplication over addition or subtraction. And let's look at two examples. For the first example, we have four times the quantity three plus seven. To eliminate the parentheses, we distribute the four, which means the expression is equivalent to four times three plus four times seven. Similarly, if we have three times the quantity six minus four, we can eliminate the parentheses by distributing the three, which gives us three times six minus three times four. And we often use arrows to model the distribution. Before we go, let's complete the table below. We're asked to evaluate each expression using the order of operations and using the distributive property. So for the first expression, for the first expression we are given seven times the quantity three plus five. Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. Three plus five is eight. The expression simplifies to seven times eight, and seven times eight is equal to 56. And now we're asked to evaluate the expression again by using the distributive property. Beginning with the original expression, we have seven times the quantity three plus five. To clear the parentheses, we distribute the seven. 
Distributing the seven gives us seven times three plus seven times five. The next step is to multiply. Seven times three is 21. Seven times five is 35. 21 plus 35 is 56. So whether we evaluate the expression using the order of operations or the distributive property, of course we get the same value. Let's look at one more example. Here we are given the expression four times the quantity eight minus one. Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. Eight minus one is seven, giving us four times seven, which equals 28. And now we will evaluate the expression again, first using distribution. So we have four times the quantity eight minus one. To clear the parentheses, we distribute the four Distributing four gives us four times eight minus four times one. Now we multiply, four times eight is 32, four times one is four, 32 minus four is 28. And once again, we do get the same value whether we evaluate the expression using the order of operations or distribution first. I hope you found this helpful.